Welcome to Finding Holiness, where we delve into timeless Torah wisdom, revealing the sacred in everyday moments. Join us on a journey to elevate your spirituality and discover holiness in every aspect of life. I'm your host, Rabbi David Kadosh, and together, let's embark on a path of spiritual exploration. I hope you enjoy this next episode. Okay, continuing with Masechet Kiddushin, first chapter, Mishnah Bav. We're going to discuss other types of kinyanim today, and then some other ideas that are attached to it. Anything that needs to be evaluated to be used for payment for something else, meaning any movable object. As soon as one person acquires one thing through himself, then the other person becomes responsible, meaning he acquires the other item in exchange. So if someone makes a, a trade, and uh, I'll trade you uh, this pen for uh, this hat, and the moment the guy takes the pen and acquires it with, uh, with the kinan, immediately the hat is, uh, it becomes acquired on the other side, even if the person didn't actually uh, bring it in. Ketzad, let me not give some examples. Hechlif shor bepara, if someone exchanges an ox or trades an ox for another person's cow, or chamor beshor, or a donkey for an ox, kevan shezachaze, once one of them acquires this one, nitchayev zeh bechalifav, the other person automatically becomes uh, responsible or acquires the animal in exchange. Reshut ha-gavoa bekesef, the temple treasury where they kept all the funds in the Bet HaMikdash, it literally means the holy domain, that can acquire, the, the treasury can acquire a movable object, bekesef, by paying money for it. Ursut ha'idiot pachazaka, but an ordinary person can acquire a movable object only by chazaka, by taking hold of it, by doing a kinyan with the item. We, we spoke about last time that's drawing it, it close to him. Amirato la gavoa kim sirato la idiot. If someone makes a statement to give, to donate something to the Bet HaMikdash, that's the same as handing it over to an ordinary person, um, and therefore it becomes the property of the temple just by saying, this, I'm donating this to the Bet HaMikdash. Mishnah Zayin. Kol mitzvot haben al ha'av, any mitzvah that the father must do for his son, for example, a father has an obligation to give a brit milah to his son, it's mitzvah on the father. Anashim chayavin v'nashim peturot. The men are obligated to do that, but women are not. A father is obligated to do this mitzvot, women are exempt. The kol mitzvot ha'av ala ben, but any mitzvah of the, that a son must do for his father, for example, for example, honoring his father, echad anashim ve'echad nashim chayavim. Then both men and women are obligated, meaning both sons and daughters are obligated in honoring and respecting the parents. Famous line here in this Mishnah, kol mitzvot ha'aseh she'azman grama, uh, all positive mitzvot that are time-bound, they have to be done in a specific time, like the blowing of the shofar on Nosh Hashanah, sitting in the sukkah and sukkot, shaking Abdullah. Anashim chayavim benashim peturot. Men are obligated, but women do not have to. And the basic idea is that women have other responsibilities, that they cannot be uh, constrained with a certain time because that other responsibility might, have to, might take its place. Uh, usually it has to do with family issues. However, any positive mitzvah that do not uh, have a set time, both men and women are obligated to do them. For example, mezuzah, uh, uh, if a woman lives by herself, she still is obligated to put a mezuzah on, on her door. That's a mitzvah that can be done at any time. Any prohibition, Negative mitzvah that is not whether dependent on time or not dependent on time. Echad anashim vechad nashim chayavim. Both men and women are obligated to uh, observe them. Um, so, like for example, uh, um, doing not doing melachot melacha on Shabbat is a is a time bound negative mitzvah. Women have to keep that. They're not allowed to do any melachot. Chutz mi bal the uh, the women are exempt from the prohibition of destroying. The corners of their face with a, with a razor. Ubal takif, or rounding their head. That's a peot, that's a sideburns. Ubal titamela metim, and their prohibition for koanim not to become tame from corpses. These don't, uh, these don't apply to women. How are we doing in time? Okay, I think we're gonna have to stop here in order to uh, do this iman. So we'll continue tomorrow.